Psst, hey, buddy. Are you a prisoner? No, I'm a guard. You look like a prisoner. No, here's my badge, bro. I didn't see it. You did it really fast. Sorry, man. I can only show it to you once. Protocol, you know? Hey, do you happen to have anything sharp uh, and hard? Maybe like a pin or like an old fork or like a letter opener or something? I got a piece of broccoli stuck way in the back. I just need something to, to pick it out. And we're in the guards, in the guards office in here, we just rat a toothpicks, you know? So you got metal, ideally. Um, oh, I have a pocket knife. Would that, would that work? Oh, yeah, that will work perfectly. Wow, it's really big. Oh, I actually have a bigger one. It's uh, it's actually really sharp, too. Mm hmm. Yes, this is, this is good. This is good. Are you that YouTube gun guy? <laughs> yeah, man. Are you a fan? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Huge fan, bro. Oh, then you would love this new 9mm I picked up. Ah, wow. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, I love it. What what else what else do you have? <laughs> I knew you would ask. Prison guards are just like me, gunaholic, right? <laughs> Check out this little baby. I was actually just on my way to make a video with her. She is sweet. I know, right? Extra mag? Oh, check out this suppressor! And the drum mag. You'll love this 75 rounder. It's cool. Hey, can I keep can I keep these for a day? Of course, man. Okay, bye. Huh. Nice guy. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm very glad you're here and we have quite the episode for you. If you guys watch Off the Ranch, my vlog channel, my kind of behind the scenes channel, you will have seen that we built this. A prison wall, totally to spec. Demolition Ranch specs, not really to prison specs. So as you know, center blocks have two holes in each block and we filled them with different things. There's a column here full of concrete. This one here is also full of concrete. This one is full of just regular dirt. And this one is full of sand. And then we concreted in some rebar for the window. This rebar actually extends down into the concrete, about a foot, so it's pretty solid as well. And then these columns are empty. So we're gonna try a few things. If you're trying to bust your buddy out of jail, you're a bad guy. And a bad guy always has a bad guy gun. And the most iconic bad guy, yeah, it's still pink, shut up. The most iconic bad guy gun is an AK-47. Let's start over here. This, such a good little gun. This is my little AK pistol. It is a Serbian Zastava. Look at that thing. Such a nice little gun. Shoot 7.62 by 39. Big rifle bullet there. Come on, can I do this one hand? One hand and a neat. Got it. This one is an all-American made, milled receiver, C39 V2. It is a super nice gun. I put all plastic furniture on it. Wanted this to be my tactical AK. It's got a folding stock. I mean, how cool is that thing? Oh, what do we have here? This is my CMMG Mutant, and I put a drum mag on it, and I put a suppressor on it. This is the Silencer Co. Chimera. It is, oh, it is so, Good looking. I actually went up and met with Silencer Co. We made a video together and this is the can that we were promoting. Don't die in this town. Yeah. Hold on, homie, last wait a minute. Lady Yon even paint over. It's a 30 cal can. It can do 556 five, all the way up to 300 wind mag. So obviously it should do fine on the 762 at 39. Let's go ahead and talk about this though. This gun is one I'm so pumped. I have wanted one of these for so long. You might think, well, that's just an AK. And then you might go, well, it does have kind of a longer barrel on it. And uh, it's got a bipod. The drum mag sure looks cool. The carry handle looks cool. This is a Romanian RPK. So not only is the barrel longer than a regular standard AK, it also has a thick, heavy barrel so you can shoot a lot faster for a lot longer without worrying about damaging your barrel 
as quickly as if you had a standard AK. Before we get started though, I wanted to give a big shout out to Shade Tree Glasses. So they are the sunglasses that I wear pretty much exclusively now, and they've been a huge supporter of Demolition Ranch and Off the Ranch for a long time, and so I greatly appreciate that. They have awesome products. They use a mix of uh, real wood, which obviously this one is all real wood. They also have some titanium frame glasses. And they love America, which you can't hate on that. So go to shadetreeglasses.com and if you buy a non-American pair and you would like a American or police pair, you can use the code DEMOLITIA and it's 50% off. So buy this and then get this for 50% off. Since this is a prison themed episode, we're gonna try to shoot those handcuffs. I'm gonna try it with the AK pistol first. Actually did better than I thought, so it hit right here on the side that had two pieces of metal, like that, and it ripped through one and it broke the other one in half. So safe to say it would be fairly easy to shoot your way out of handcuffs with an AK-47. Now we know. Let's just go ahead and shoot this thing a little more. Oh, I missed. A fireball. Jeez. This thing, besides the Barrett, this is possibly one of the loudest guns I have. All right, how about a full-size AK? Oh, so much easier to aim now. I'm gonna shoot through one that has nothing in it. Ow! Maybe it didn't go through. A great hit and nothing. Okay, cool. Well, that's actually, you can see where it hit on the backside, but did not have enough energy to bust through. Safe to say another round through there, a couple in this general area, and this brick would crumble. So one cinder block may, it, it was very close to not blocking it, but may save your life. That is awesome. I may have hit a target a little bit. Just bear in mind, this is supersonic round, so it would be quieter with subs. That's what it sounds like hitting dirt. That's so cool. Okay. Let's shoot through one that has, actually let's go through rebar. You guys want to hit some rebar right now? Not to toot my own horn, but that was an amazing shot. Perfectly on there. It bent it a bit. You can see how it's kind of wonky. And uh, yeah, definitely didn't go through. It's like they make rebar specifically to be strong. Huh. Like I said, the RPK is very similar to an AK. It actually takes AK-47 magazines, which is pretty sweet. So you can run it just like a regular AK. It's mildly heavier up front, of course. But then, you know, what this thing's made for is laying down the heavy fire. So, you know, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and stick a drum in it. <laughs> and it's so much better. So this is, of course, a 30 round magazine. This is a standard sized AK-47 magazine. This is a 75 round drum. This one has the standard style back. This one has a clear back so you can actually see how much ammo you have left in there and we have 75 rounds of it. Pretty sweet. So you'd have to have two and a half of these to equal this. It's actually, I mean, that's a pretty good idea to just make this a drum mag and then you don't have to be messing with these things. So you could just have two of these I guess, 240s and be equal to that drum mag. But what if, what if you duct taped them together? <laughs> and put them in the baby AK. <laughs> yeah! So look, you're running it, you're running it, you got 40 rounds in this one mag that's hooked up, you finally run it all the way out, no problem. You just take it, you flip it around, boom! 40 more rounds, good to go. But you know what would be cooler than this? Well, it wouldn't really be cooler. It would just look cooler. You hook two 40 round mags together this way. <laughs> It's an 80 round mag. Yeah, I mean, yeah, halfway through you gotta pull it out and do some gymnastics to get it to, oh man, and it, jam and it hits this. It's not, it's not the best design I've ever come up with, but not the worst, not the worst. <laughs> okay, let's send it.
I think we're gonna shoot the dirt. I think I remember which one was the dirt. Right there. There's no way that went through. Let's shoot one more dirt. Dirt. And dirt. Doesn't look like anything went through it. Nothing. Let's fire another one right here first. And that should go through. And then we'll fire some there and see if they go through. I also have no idea how accurate an RPK is. And to be honest, I'm probably the first man in history who's ever tried to fire an RPK accurately. Second shot hit the edge here and busted through. So the air-filled cinder block will not stop two rounds in the same spot. That was the exact same hole. That was a little bit off. The one that was the exact same hole definitely did go through a little bit. <laughs> we just broke a leak. That's pretty cool. You got to admit, that's, that's neat. We're about to have a sand-filled wall turning into an air-filled wall, but nothing went through. Sand did do a good job of stopping it. <sighs> but now we have an air-filled wall. Well, that might be why dirt is a better choice. Now it is time for the concrete wall. The solid concrete, it's going about this deep in there and stopping. I'm gonna shoot three in the same spot. Four, I'm gonna shoot three more in the same spot on one of those holes and see if they go through. So obviously it's not going very deep in there and nothing is going through it at all. So of course we knew concrete was gonna be better, but that's a lot better. Like that is some strong stuff right there. Now, I think the last test I'm going to do is do what this RPK is made for, and that is laying down a ridiculous amount of firepower on this prison wall. Probably got a half mag left in this, full 40 there. Let's see what we can do on this. Yep, that one's out. Definitely not a half mag. Ugh. Gun's starting to heat up a little bit. Our wall is definitely looking a little weaker. Oh, huh. how about this? A full drum mag. I like that. Look how cool it looks over there. I'm getting hit with so much shrapnel right now. There we go. Trigger finger is getting really tired. Ah. Ah. This gun's hot. Whew. Well, RPK, am I right? Ooh, check that out. This gun's so hot. It is so hot. I wonder if it feels hot. Oh, just kidding. This is what this thing is made to do. Oh, so cool. It's cracking. The paint's cracking. Woo! Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's hot. I wonder if I should touch it. I had planned on busting my buddy out of jail today, but turns out he was on the toilet back behind the wall. Took him out too. Sorry about that, my man. See you in the next life. The uh, concrete definitely was the best, but even it started getting smacked by the rounds and then it just crumbled after getting hit a few times and as did the rest of this wall. Huh. 
That is not gonna be fun to clean up. Did not consider that when I was building it. If you could pick one of those guns for home defense, which one would it be? Second question, this is a scenario. Zombies. And I would say there are 400 of them. Walking Dead type zombies, so they're, they're slow, but there's 400, there's a crowd coming at you. You have unlimited ammo, load it up in whatever mags you want. Which gun would you choose? to take them out. I mean, I'm, I'm actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to make this scenario very good for the RPK because I want you to say RPK! Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.